One of my absolute favorites, the Imperial Starter Deck Breakdown. Let's do it. Hey guys, Danner A Drive here, the creator of Illustrals, bringing you guys our next Starter Deck Breakdown, which is the Imperial Starter Deck Breakdown. And I'm very excited about this one because I do think the Thunder Deck is one of my favorites to play. I think it plays really cool. It's got some very cool control elements to it that allow you to kind of dictate the pace of play in the game and really put your opponent on the back foot. And uh, I think that that's really unique. So super excited to break this down. If you guys enjoy these, you can check out the description. I'll actually have a bunch of different deck profiles as we upload them. So make sure you check them out. And let's see if I pull my first Stellar today. I haven't gotten one, obviously, but hopefully today will be the day. All right, so here we have the Imperial Starter Deck. Very pumped. This deck is a little bit different than some of the other decks because this one actually has a lot more Thunder Spirits in it than the other decks have their own Spirits in it, and that's primarily because of Signectric. It does have a few exclusive cards like Toxion and Galvenom, uh, and we've got our little description here. Thunder shakes the heavens and lightning, uh, what does that say, splits the skies as an electrifying current strikes from the heights of Mount Olympus. Join forces with the Almighty Zeus and the shocking allies such as Riceros, Signectric, and Boombat to smite all who oppose you. Are you worthy to call upon the greatest of the gods and wield his thunderbolts? Of course, Mr. Zeus himself ready to throw down. So let's crack this open and take a look and break down the entire Imperial starter deck. If you've seen our other starter deck breakdowns, we've got these little safety void seals here. So you know that you're the first person who's opened your box up and you can get that bad boy popped open. Boom. And of course you've got the beautiful thunder die here. This one's pretty cool. It's got the thunder strike on it. There's spin down dies. The uh, black and the yellow coloring maybe could have been thought out a little bit better. They're more so split like this because it's kind of hard to blend the two together, but it still looks pretty sweet. And I'm very excited about uh, our little spin downs here that come with every starter deck. And there is our Imperial. We've got our how to play guide. So make sure you guys read that so you learn everything you need to know about the game. And then you've got your little tip card here at the end, which is double sided, but your hollow card is your Imperial. Let me open up this little saran wrap here and we'll break down the deck. All right, we've got our spirits there and here is our Imperial deck. A beautiful, beautiful card, Imperial. This Imperial gets one attack for each of your Thunder Spirits in your spirit deck. So the more your spirit deck has, the stronger Imperial can be. That can actually put it as high as, in theory, I guess 17, 25 attack really on its own. Uh, pretty unlikely, but still cool. You could also expend the Thunder Spirit to target and destroy a card. So once per turn, you're basically destroying something for just one. It's really, really a powerful card and it's got great defense. No stellar for me, so we'll see what the deck has in store. Quackle allows you to regen three Thunder Spirits when it's cast, so that's really nice. Uh, you can get some healing there. Then you've got Signetric. So if you have 12 Thunder Spirits in your spirit deck and Signetric's on the field, you can actually just special ascend it right into Imperial, which is super duper cool. So this is a, you can't affect, so this is during your main phase, but a very, very cool effect. Moving there, you've got Toxion, which has become one of the staple cards of Thunder decks right now, offensive ones anyway. Every time Toxion gets an, an enchantment, so when it's cast or enchanted later, your opponent takes one damage. So that's a really strong card. And then Galvenom is a really interesting two drop that's exclusive to this deck. The start of that, you can expend three Thunder Spirits to target and destroy up to two cards. So you pay three costs and you get to destroy two things. That's really, really good. Riceros here is one of my favorite cards in the game. When you cast it, it's a one cost, it has four defense. Your opponent cannot attack unless they have a Thunder Spirit and chance to them on the turn they're cast. So this is a great turn one opening. Uh, Spark It here allows you to Nexus on your field and you can look at your opponent's hand and discard a card when you do. So Spark It plus Zeus is very strong. Like you have basically removed the biggest threat from their hand. Astravid, probably one of the top cards in the game. And that's one of the reasons why Thunder is so good right now is Astravid is a five defense Celestral, one cost. When you cast it, you look at the top three cards of your deck and then you pick one and add it to your hand. And you don't actually have to reveal that when you use the look function. So Astravid, very strong. This is, uh, like I said, a top tier card, no doubt. Jolton is a, a stadium searcher. So you can search out your stadium, your Mount Olympus. With Olympus, it comes out at five attack, very good. Boombat is basically like a one cost earthquake. You cast it, you destroy it. You disenchant your Boombat and you hit something. This is a uh, starter deck exclusive art of Boombat as well, which is really cool. Then you've got Spy Nymph, which is an Earth cast. Uh, it just basically allows you to serve as a nice defensive wall. And then you got a couple of Warmites splashed in there as well, which allow you to just drop the attack of some higher attackers. You've got Nectar of the Gods for draw power and Ambrosia, an important card in this deck, obviously, to regen your spirits. Spirit the uh, Circle of the Sky is nice with Toxion to potentially move some things around. And then Zeus, of course. Zeus will actually allow you to drop the attack and defense of opposing an Elestral, which makes, again, Thunder really strong when you get Zeus onto the field. 
Mount Olympus is really good, just a standard stadium stuff. One of the things this deck lacks is Elichick. Uh, that's a really, really good card because it does search out your Zeus. You've got Thunderbolts of Zeus, where if Zeus is enchanted, your opponent's taking two damage instead of one. But otherwise, when you destroy an Elestral in battle, they're going to take a damage or one one spirit hit. So that's really strong. Thunderstorm gives you rune control. You just target and destroy a rune. Really simple stuff. Earthquake allows you to target and destroy an Elestral. So again, a lot of control elements here. And then you've got Shield of Achilles to bounce back those attackers. One of the best counter runes in the game. And Pandora's Box to punish those searchers, which is actually really clutch. I remember I had a game night at my house. And my buddy was actually uh, playing say timber on the earth starter deck and he went for his ascension into Centarber, and i actually pandora's box that effect so he didn't get his Centarber out and then the following turn i was able to get my own imperial onto the field and just blow everything up it was actually really fun i had posted a uh, a tweet about it then you've got your spirit deck here which is pretty much zapter right this particular deck is very zapter and then you've got some Teratlas here to run with your earthquake and then some Vipyro to run with your Warmite, and then you've got your little tip card there. This deck plays in really trying to get that Imperial out. If you can get Imperial out, you're in pretty good shape, but you do have some other options, Galvenom hitting things and just destroying the back row or even just some, uh, the Elestrals on the field. Spark it going after the hand is really good. Astravit and Jolton giving you options to draw the cards you need. Boombat is just instant removal. Good draw, you got Zeus to drop attack. I mean, it's very, I mean, the control package here is phenomenal so i would say that this is one of the better decks to definitely jump into and i think with uh, adding in base set and the, the booster box cards that you can get you can actually make this deck way way better too i think the consensus right now among elestral players who are testing the game uh basically based on kickstarter is that thunder is probably the strongest element right now and that's not actually because of imperial but rather because of volt tempest but uh, Thunder, the, the the package in Thunder with Zeus and Sparkin and Astrabit, potentially Boom Bats, Joltins, Elichicks, things like that, with Voltempest just makes it so incredibly powerful. And it's a deck to definitely look out for as the metagame develops. I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. If you did, be sure to like the video and, of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Check out the other deck profiles as well and let me know which one's your favorite. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out this one right here. Otherwise, this one's pretty sweet too. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.